Hello everyone, my name is Bobby Santolo and I wanted to thank you for joining me today. Over the next 20 minutes, I'm going to show you how the master image, camera icon, or product image maintenance section, and the product images import spreadsheet systematically create all the necessary image sizes for your products. I'm sure you can all remember the taking one image and resizing it into two or three separate images, then using those images to upload the thumbnail, main, and gallery images here in the product section under images and audio. Well, those days of manually resizing product images are over. What I'm about to show you will likely save you hours of time managing your products and your images. As I'm going through this webinar, if I miss anything, or if you have any questions, feel free to enter your questions through the webinar interface. And please note that this webinar will be recorded and we will post it into the Training and Resource Center when we're done. If we go back down to the bottom here and visit the main product page here, and I click on the new button at the top, and scroll down to the new images and audio section, we're going to find a single master image field. Before you begin uploading any images, it's important to remember two things. First, that the master image that you upload should be a single high quality image. This is the image that the system is going to use to automatically create the smaller thumbnail, main, and swatch images. It's critical that you start with a high quality large master image. And second, we need to tell the system what sizes we would like these thumbnail, main, and swatch images to be. For that, we're going to go back to the main product listing page and we're going to click on the camera icon for one of our products. This is gonna bring us to the product image maintenance section. And at the very top, we're going to click on the global image upload settings section. These are the settings that the system follows each time an image is uploaded to the system. The global image upload settings section only needs to be configured one time on one product. I just please make sure that you click the save settings button at the bottom when you're done with everything. Now that we've got a good starting master image and we've configured our image size settings, we're ready to go back to the new product screen if we want, or we can visit the initialized product images section just below here and browse and upload our new master image using the single radio button here. So if I browse and upload a new file from my computer here, let's select the logo coaster for instance, We'll now see an initialized product images button appear. Clicking that button will automatically create the thumbnail, main, and large image for this product. And in a few seconds, that's all we need to do. Notice the mobile images are also created at the same time. It's that simple. So if I go down to the bottom and I click save, <clears throat> excuse me, that took me all of maybe 10 seconds to go and complete a much faster and easier process than me resizing images through some sort of a photo editor and uploading them one by one, or maybe adjusting them with the resize and scale to options that we used to have. So now let's transition for a second and say we wanted to set up a product like this Callaway FDI driver here. Notice we've got a gallery of images showing different angles and visuals of this product. We also have different SKUs that are here. If I go back to the order management system and I go back to the main products page here and I click on the camera icon for this example product, the Callaway FTI driver, In order to set up multiple images, 
we're going to go to the initialized product images section and click on the multiple radio button for that image set type. Here we're going to upload our first master image. This is the image that I want to be my product thumbnail image. So in that case, I'm going to start with my first Callaway FTI driver image. That's the most popular one. And then I'm going to click on initialize product images. In a few seconds, the system will create the images automatically. And then it's going to bring us down into the detail images section. Okay, notice with the multiple image set type, I have a little swatch image over here on the right hand side. That swatch image is the equivalent to the mini thumbnails that used to be associated with our former gallery image functionality. With a multiple image set type, multiple gallery or swatch images can be present and some, but not all images can be tied to different product variations. So if we now click on the plus icon up here in the detail images section, I can use the replace detail images image set two to browse and upload a second version of my Callaway FTI driver. And boom, just like that, it pops into here, creates my main image, my mobile image, my large image, and my swatch image. Super simple. I'm gonna click the plus icon one more time, and I'm gonna click the replace detail image set number three to upload my third gallery image. So in one more click or a couple more clicks, just like that, I've recreated this Callaway FTI driver with a gallery of images tied to it. <clears throat> Let me click save here to save everything. Alternatively, if we wanted to set up a different product, let's say a shirt like this logo men's polo shirt, which had two colors and three sizes associated with it. So we have red and black and medium and large and small for the sizes. In this case, I only have two images, two separate main images, the black and the red to show with this shirt. So multiple is not gonna work here because I don't need to show multiple variations of this product, but I might wanna tie different images to different SKUs. In that case, if we go back to the order management system, we can use a different image set type, specifically the by SKU image set type to go and set up different images tied to different image or SKU sets. So again, if we're in this initialized product images section, we select the by SKU image set type, upload our initial master image, again, the one that we want to use as our thumbnail image, the red one, click initialize product images. And at this point in time, the system's going to create the red shirt and associate it with all the different SKU sets in combinations of the product that we have set up in the system. In this case, we're gonna to have to go through the detail images section and replace the black shirt options because as we can see on this tab here, the red shirt is still associated with the black image op black color options. So here we're gonna use the replace detail image set three button to systematically change the mobile, the main, and the large image to the black shirt for all of these different SKUs with the black. And boom, just like that, it's done for that set. And I go to the next one, replace this image set, upload, select the black image one more time from my computer, and there, I'm done. Again, super fast, super easy. Now, 
it, let's say I don't like the image that the system generated. We'll note there's this little main image control box here on the left-hand side where I can either upload a new image, adjust the size of this main image, or re reference one of my existing stored images that are uploaded to the system already, or I can clear this image and start over. The reason why you wouldn't use this box by default is that it's only gonna change this main image and this one particular component. So I might have to do this for the mobile main, and I might have to do this for the large image. Using the replace detail image set button up here on the right, we'll replace it for all of them all at once. Now, there is one more important component on this detail images section that I wanna point out to you. At the very bottom, there's this custom image alt tag box here. This field allows you to attach keywords such as product options or words that describe what the image is showing. The image alt tags may be heavily weighted by search engines or they can provide descriptive power for screen scrapers or other accessibility utilities. The system will always automatically generate alt tag text using the product name, but you can customize this text if you wish. So for instance, I don't want it to just say, example, buy SKU image set polo shirt. I want it to say polo shirt black front. So that's a nice example of how you might come in here and customize this image alt tag to provide more descriptive information to search engines in screen scrapers there. Now, let's save everything here and just say this. If you're if some of you are more comfortable uploading products and images via Excel, then our product images import spreadsheet is going to be the solution for you. If I go back to the main products page and I click on the import button at the top, we're going to see this product images import at the very bottom here. If we click next. We're going to find this product images import spreadsheet at the top. And this import spreadsheet allows you to do the following. It allows you to take advantage of the master image feature in bulk. It allows you to apply overrides to individual images, configure other product images, such as images that are associated by SKU or by attribute. And it allows you to upload multiple images with a single product, like we did with the Callaway FTI driver, AK an image gallery. What I think it would be great is if you can see an example of this um, populated product uh, images import spreadsheet. Here we have the highlighted yellow cells referencing the multiple image set type, while the blue highlighted cells represent the by skew image set type. And then the green highlighted cells represent the single image set type. Notice how column G is populated for different image set type options in column D. The purpose of all of these tools is to make your life easier and to make sure that you know you have a really fast and easy way of uploading your products and your images to the system in addition to you know adding new functionality to the system we're constantly adding new tools and adding new support resources inside the order management system if i jump back up here on this left menu bar you'll notice in addition to the help desk we have the training center and now a new guided tutorial section here I definitely recommend checking these out in the future as we're constantly adding new updates to them in the future. Again, I really hope that this webinar helped you guys understand how to use these new image optimization tools. And I thank you for attending. Does anyone have any questions that I can answer? I do see one question here. 
that says, what is the optimal image size to start with? I recommend using a high quality image that is the largest image available. Typically an image of about 500 pixels or more um, wide or high, you know, as long as that image is less than 2000 kilobytes in file size, um, the largest image you can provide there would be a good starting point. The system's always gonna make smaller versions of the thumbnail, main and swatch, and you just wanna make sure there's no distortion with those images. Looks like we have another question here of, will there be any update to allow images to be imported via external URLs? No, all images must be uploaded to the system using the file import like you have historically to upload those files to our secure servers and then reference the image URLs that get associated with your products from our platform. Um, another image here says, um doesn't matter what size pictures we're uploading as long as it's high quality well it does it definitely does matter with the size again like i said you want to have as large image of an image as possible typically like your large image size that way it can the system can make it be smaller afterwards um, and not just make have any distortion with it we definitely don't want to go from small to large within the system and within the tools that i just showed you here um, is there a different location to edit the global image upload settings? No, the global image upload settings are only edited or maintained inside the product images, I'm sorry, inside the camera icon in the product section right at the top. And again, that only has to be done one time on one initial, one, one product. So once they're set, they will apply to all products or all images that are uploaded from that point going forward. Um, and then what pixel range would you recommend for the master image? Again, typically master images should be more than 500 pixels wide. They can be any height there. Looks like that's it. Well, thank you again for attending this webinar and be on the lookout for a recording posted in the training center coming soon.